So I make almost half of my living off of Patreon, and part of the reason is that I've made what I think are some pretty smart choices in terms of how I structure my rewards, and I'd love to show you how I've done it. Drex here from DrexFactor.com, and today we are talking about Patreon, and specifically the things that I've learned in the past year about putting together rewards that work. Before we dive in, I just want to give a quick shout out to the friends of the channel. Big thanks to Dark Monk, Flow Toys, Pyroterra Light Toys, LMF Props, Spinballs, and Ultra Poi for helping to make the videos on this channel possible. You can learn more about all these awesome companies and the work that they're doing to support flow artists like yourself by checking out the links I've got down in the description of this video. So I've been on Patreon now for several years, and uh, I will be the first to admit that at first when I got on the site, I didn't really know what I was doing. I think a lot of us creators kind of struggle with, number one, the idea of like asking people to support us, as well as how to make it worth their while to do so. And I had a lot of fits and stops. I have changed my reward structure many, many times over the years. But in this past year, I feel like I fell into a groove that really, really helped me grow my Patreon, grow my earnings through Patreon, and really help me figure out good ways to be able to strategize how I would create those rewards in the future. One of the things that really helped was actually watching a video from another creator here on YouTube by the name of Aaron Rutten. Uh, Aaron is a visual artist. Uh, he doesn't do flow arts, but the ways that he talked about how he structured his rewards made a lot of sense to me, and it made me start asking questions about the way that I structured my rewards. Now, I've had a lot of people come up to me in the past year and ask me for advice on setting up Patreon, and rewards is definitely one of those things that is high on the list of things that people ask about. So I'm going to give the advice that I would give to any one of them out there to all of you, and hopefully it will find the eyeballs that it needs. So I have a philosophy with rewards wherein I think that what your supporters truly want from you is basically a deepening of what they already love from what you produce. So access to your Patreon feed is always a popular one, as is early access to your content. Um, doing early access stuff is so easy to do on Patreon right now that that ought to be one of your first ports of call. In addition, people love seeing their name in the credits for your videos. It makes them feel as though they've contributed to something. Uh, definitely the people that I support on Patreon, seeing my name in the credits gives me a little burst of joy every time I see it. So though these things are really obvious, uh, that doesn't mean that they're a bad call. And I think increasingly they're becoming things that people expect when they sign up to support people on Patreon. Okay, so with some of the obvious stuff out of the way, let's talk now about some of the stuff that's less obvious. I'd like to give you a case study. So I'm going to start this off by showing you some graphs. Don't tune out, I promise that this is going somewhere. So these are the distribution curves for the supporters of two YouTube channels that I support and I really love, History Buffs and City Beautiful. Now even though the scales are slightly different, what you can see is that there's basically a peak in the lower numbers that gradually flattens out in an asymptotic curve towards the higher numbers, yeah? And I think if you look through a majority of uh, Patreon pages, you're going to find that this is a pretty normal distribution for most people's Patreon supporters. Okay, so let me show you my curve, which looks quite a bit different. You see that weird peak that I have really early on in the $5 range and everything, and then it starts to look more normal? Yeah, um, the $5 reward is early access to my content, which is always a winner. Um, also. I'm lying to you. This is the distribution curve for my Patreon in 2018. Let me show you what it looks like in 2019. Now that curve looks a lot different now, doesn't it? What is going on here? So the new peak here is at the $10 level, and this is something that I call the flow circle. And I came up with this idea in this particular way. So I have a lead magnet on my website. That is a thing where people basically give me their email addresses and I send them something via email. It is actually a beginner course for POI that just shows up in their inbox and everything. And included in that is a little survey where I'm trying to find out what they need in order to improve in POI or just be able to do whatever they want in the flow arts. And there was a response that I was noticing coming in pretty frequently through there, which was that 
people were saying that they really, really, really wanted to be able to spend poi, but they didn't feel like they had enough time to practice the things that I was putting out there in my tutorials. So the problem here was that people saw the big thing and didn't see how to break it up into smaller things, and so that discouraged them from investing their time. So I tried out something new. Basically, I created a single five-minute lesson every single week that was over a single poi drill. It wasn't necessarily about learning a trick. It wasn't necessarily about troubleshooting and everything. It was about, here is one thing that you can do for 10 minutes every day. And of course, because all this feedback was coming to me via my email list, I made sure to include as a piece of this whole puzzle that I would send these videos to people not only via my Patreon feed, but also uh, via email. And the result was both immediate as well as huge. Not only did I have a lot of people sign up for this when I first announced it, it's also the most common thing that people sign up for when they access my feed. I've even had a lot of people that have been supporters for years that decide to increase their level of donation in order to be able to take part in this. And the greatest thing about this is it makes people feel like they are getting a more personal thing for me, but it doesn't add that much more time to what I'm producing every month already. I edit these videos very, very minimally, and to be frank with you, I usually shoot all of them in a single go-around. It takes me less than an hour. Overall, this adds about five hours of work to my month, but at this point, I make about $500 off of the people that have signed up for this every month. That is a really, really great return on investment. And the greatest thing of all is that it does something that a lot of people don't realize that they need with their rewards. It scales. So what do I mean by scales? Basically this. If you were to have 10 people sign up for a given reward versus 20 people, how much more time does it take you to fulfill that reward for 20 people versus 10? If the answer is it takes twice as long, you've got a problem on your hands, especially if this is going to be a reward that you're going to offer for one of the lower price tiers. I know a lot of people that look at rewards and think, oh, well, I'll have a sticker or something that everybody who, you know, gets on at the $1 to $5 price tier gets to and everything. And, you know, if you have to individually mail all of those stickers out or even input all that data into a fulfillment company and everything, that is not something that scales terribly well. So this one thing that adds only five hours of work to my month uh, not only has vastly increased the number of people that are giving to me on Patreon and increased my earnings through it, at this point, that price tier accounts for nearly 40% of my total income through Patreon. It also gives what feels like a more direct connection between me and my supporters, which I think is also really valuable in the grand scheme of things. So here are the big takeaways I want you to have based upon this particular reward that I found to be so incredibly successful. Number one, identify a problem. Find out what your supporters need and they're not currently getting. Number two, find a way to do it in a way that scales very, very easily. Make sure that you're not adding significantly more effort to your plate. And finally, communicate about it, both with your Patreon supporters as well as the general public. Let them know what you have available to them and what the benefits of it are. And here's the thing. Almost all of the content that I produce every month is still publicly facing. This is just this one thing, a format, that really wouldn't work on any other platform, but that is useful to my supporters in a way that Patreon is kind of ideally suited to deliver to them. So, I hope that this has given you some ideas and that you go out and start uh, working with your own rewards on your Patreon. I hope that this helps you grow your Patreon support and everything, because it definitely did for me. And if you're just getting started with Patreon, I have a resource for you. Uh, you can download my PDF. It is a seven point plan for getting started with your Patreon over at my website at drexfactor.com. I'm going to leave a link down in the description as well as up in the cards. If you dug this video and would like to see more like it in the future, please hit that subscribe button as well as the notification bell. That way you'll know exactly when I post something new. And finally, the people that make it all possible and whom I have been talking about this entire video, thanks so much to my wonderful supporters on Patreon. They are the reason that this video and all the videos on my channel exist. If you would like to sign up to support the work that I do, please head on over to Patreon.com com slash drexfactorpoi and sign up. In addition to being able to do things like the flow circle, you also could get early access to all of my 
content, as well as a vote in what content topics I tackle in the future. So go and check that out. Thanks so much.